Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on a minute. So this should be an interesting uh, read today. Um, the thing is, uh, the king has been given a um, you know a time frame. He knows uh, when ish. Um, so how have they prepared for that? Uh, what is that going to mean for the monarchy? Well, we have, we know what it's going to mean for the monarchy. What's it going to mean for the survival of the monarchy? Will it be beneficial for the monarchy? So I think that's where I want to go. I want to go that way. So will the um, change from this king to a new king be beneficial for the monarchy? And um, then we want to see how much preparation the king and Camilla are doing uh, for the change of their. Obviously, they have to decide uh, more officially, I think, what is Camilla's uh, role going to be and how influential, sh how influential she'll be in the, the new uh, regime, I guess. I'll just ask uh, what questions come to mind. But before we do all of that, let's have just a moment of meditation. is up uh, for them, what sort of uh, things they're going to be uh, faced with, is um, I think the first thing I want to go in the direction of is this change, which is inevitable, it's, it's always been inevitable, we have a time frame around it now, don't we? So is this change going to be um, an improvement for the monarchy? Is the impending change, three cards, going to be an improvement for the monarchy? One two, three. I haven't defined improvement, but uh, generally, is uh, this change going to be an improvement for the monarchy? So justice. Oh, that's an interesting card to get uh, when we're talking about this. So justice is the first card out of the bat as to whether this will be an improvement. Huh. That's a yes. Uh, the second card up is the seven of cups, and the seven of cups is um, illusion and delusion. And here we have, what do we, well, what specifically do we have here? This, is this a woman or is this a man? It could be either, really. But uh, looking down at the choices, the compassionate, the, the uh, touching choices that have to be made. And um, this is a young person, this is a young man looking at the illusion and delusion that they're going to have to uh, portray, I believe. And this one cup of reality is right here by the side. So justice... Uh, sorting out uh, the the mystique of the whole thing and how you're going to live that mystique perhaps. Last card is the Princess of Wands. So this is interesting to get a princess. Um, this is uh, like a page but a female perhaps uh, as far as the significance that a card like this has. Wands are actions, plans, uh, forward movement. So Princess of Wands. So this is kind of predetermined for the new king coming in, and he's going to start out with only the the power, um, the authority, the gravitas of a uh, really a page, but a princess of wands. So, is it going to be good for the monarchy? Uh, it's justice. Things have to be sorted out as far as keeping that um, uh, illusion uh, up, and. Um, but a lot of it is predetermined. Who has made this determination? Is the determination for how this new um, monarchy go, will this, uh, has this been uh, highly influenced by William or Charles or Parliament? So the new monarchy, however uh, it's going to be perceived or go forward, has it been reimagined by Wills one car by Charles or by Parliament. 
And when I say William or Charles or Parliament, as far as William and Charles, it also goes for their offices because I think these royals are are, are ruled very much by the um, determinations made within their specific offices of, of the, this monastic dynasty. So uh, William, uh, uh, is he significant in uh, this new look for this monarchy? Six of Swords. So the Six of Swords are truth, justice, rules, and law, and the Six of Swords is moving out of troubled water. So Will's job is to keep this monarchy out of troubled water. Interesting. So this may be a collaborative uh, event uh, planned by all, all of these folks. Charles, Princess of Swords. Remember we said the princess is a weak um, uh, figure in this royal lineup. And, but the swords are truth, justice, rules, and law. So Charles is going out, okay, but with the strength of, of a royal still. And then the uh, parliament is the nine of cups. Well, this is very interesting. The nine uh, cups are compassion and heartfelt situations, you know, things that have to do emotionally uh, with the well-being. But this nine of cups is sometimes described as the greedy merchant. And for me, it's almost someone who's ready to display their cups, almost their trophies for everybody to look at. So I think this is parliament. I think parliament is going to be um, proud to hold its head up and say, well, we had a lot to do with the way this this uh, is, is happening and what's going to go forward here. So I think there's a lot of, of, of energy here for wills it's going to be focusing on keeping the monarchy going out of trouble for charles it's going to be recognizing his diminishing role and handing off that uh sword um in an appropriate manner and then uh for parliament it's uh they want to claim they're going to want to claim their fair share of success uh if that's what happens um it's a collaborative effort it's a collaborative effort and I guess it always would would have been, would it? Um, now, Charles, I want to know if he's troubled particularly, I mean troubled, personally troubled, by this idea of having held the office so, for so short a period of time, handing it off to his son. Um, let's do six cards on Charles in that regard. So one, two, three four, five, six, Charles, um, in his attitude, his feelings, his, uh, what's in it, what's going on for him in this, you know, planned transition. It always was, but it's more so now, strength. Interesting. First card out, the signifier for Charles is maintaining strength. It's interesting that a female is here taming the wild boar, <laughs> wild boar, uh, so Camilla, is his strength. The um, challenge to that is his waning uh, ability to make things happen as a princess instead of a king, uh, power-wise. The basis of this whole thing then for Charles, this Three of Pentacles is building something for public display. Publicals are value, the sell of money, and yeah, this is, look, the whole family is here watching over the side. Camilla is at his side building something for public display. That's this uh, monastic uh, dynasty. The past of this then is the Nine of Cups. So the past of this brings up that parliament. So in this uh, transition, um, as far as Charles is concerned, their uh, role in this is gonna be as limited as it could be. They've served their purpose in the sky. This is the Queen of Cups. Okay, so this is uh, compassion. This is a uh, heartfelt, uh, well-wishing. So this is um, all the powers that be that would give this, uh, uh, you know, like a motherly, I don't know if you can see that uh, with the space I've got on this uh, camera here, but uh, try to keep them in, in the frame. I don't have a preview of what I'm showing you, so I hope they make it. But anyway, so the sky here is that they have to aim for a motherly, compassionate switch. And then the final card for that is the Three of Cups is Celebrations. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, this will be successful. Um, it will um, have uh, the elements and the uh, forethought that it needs. So, yeah, strength is uh, Charles's, uh, uh, is his strength. It's challenged by his waning, um, almost a lame duck, duck king, you could say. And then uh, the Three of Pentacles is building this for public display. This is the basis of all of this work is that um, modesty. Uh, yeah, and then the uh, the Parliament uh, will have their due, but that will be in the past. 
It'll be all about uh, monarchy. Uh, the aim is compassion, and then the celebrations in the end tell us that it will be successful, and William will be off to a good start. Will, and we'll do a real quick on Catherine, will she be with William for a long time? I'm just gonna put it like that. Will Catherine be with William for a long time? Will Catherine be with William for a long time? What is a long time? We'll let the cards tell us. Three cards. One, two. Will Catherine be with William for a long time? Let's see. If justice is served, and that would be a yes card, card if I only drew that. High Priestess, oh, she has got a lot of, of uh, power, a lot of essence in this. And then the final card is a Seven of Swords. It is theft and betrayal uh, having to do with the truth, justice, rules, and law. Is Catherine going to be with Wills for a long time? One more card. Uh, Four of Wands, short-term celebrations, short-term celebrations on towards something else. So no, it will be somewhat of a short-term, when and where and how and why, what is short-term, is it months, is it years, is it tens of years, it won't be for the full uh, reign of William, I don't believe, because the full reign of William is that long-term celebration. So um, that's the answers we have today. So this will be a quick video today because we're going to talk about uh, King Charles III and Camilla, Queen Camilla, and uh, see uh, how they have faced the impending uh, demise uh, of the king. So that's what the video will be about. Uh, I hope you like the video. It will be a short video, and if you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. So this is the Druidcraft Tarot. And uh, it's sort of uh, on the magic of uh, Wicca and uh, Druidity, or Druidry, maybe that's the uh, correct uh, uh, terminology. Uh, Philip and Stephanie Carr Gom, uh, with illustrations by Will Worthington. Really nice deck. Um, they're a little, um, the, car, the box is fantastic, because you really feel like you got a nice quality uh, gift if you gave that. The guidebook is huge. And uh, the only thing I would say is that it's a shame it's not in full color, but it gives you some, some useful uh, divination uh, for the cards in there, so I like that. The cards themselves, the one uh, gripe I have is that you have to dump them out of the box, which I'm not that happy about. But uh, the cards themselves, they're huge, so some people might find them a little awkward to use, but I like them. And uh, the divination that you get out of them is amazing. There's so much thought that went into each picture, every element of each picture. And um, so they're very useful in almost any uh, circumstance where you're going to use these. And I like to spread them out like this. Uh, if I'm doing a reading with someone, then I like to usually let them uh, spread them out like this to kind of get their energy into the cards. It's a good way to mix them up without, you know, damaging the cards too much. Uh, which is uh, always important to me. So, these cards are fantastic. Druidcraft Tarot.